Hello, welcome to Brick Twits. My name is Alex, I'm a twit with the controller, and I'm joined today by Dan, who looks like Al from Al's Toy Barn, isn't that? You fucking excuse me? <laughs> You've called me so many things, and that's the worst one so far. <laughs> the uh, worst one? You draw the line. Honestly, because Al doesn't have the lush dare. set of hair that Nick Knowles has. Don't you dare. I am, I am horrified <laughs> at you. You honestly, you're the well, worst. Stop stealing my toys then. <laughs> <laughs> but but they're collectibles, bro. <laughs> <laughs> they're not toys, they're collectibles. <laughs> so um, what are we up to today, Dan? I mean, we're going through the course of trials in Killica, aren't we? That's that's the plan. Um, we got shoved down here by uh, by Lady No Pants. Um, yeah, Lady No Pants <laughs> and, and her consort. And her, well... Guardian uh, slash slam piece. Yes. <laughs> like, um, <laughs> Guardian slash booty call. Uh, <laughs> I mean, fair play to him. Like, that's, that's not, it's not bad work if you can get it. Um, can you imagine that? It's just like, <laughs> she's just an escort that she paid for four months. That's all he is. And it's like, like, like hey, are you, are you willing to risk your life for this? Uh, <laughs> do you need to travel the world, risk your life constantly? Or, yeah, you know, I mean, look, I'm, I'm all right. Look, listen here, Bartello. It's your fault. You said you only did out calls. <laughs> <laughs> and this is where I'm going. I mean, do you know what? Fair play to him if, if he's managed to land that contract. Well done, mate. Good play. <laughs> well, well done, Bartello. Well done, mate. Because in work. these uncertain times, mate, you know, with gas prices the way they are, four, you need four to months. Have... Four months yeah. worth of work is good. Is a good. So that's, that's a third of a year. You can take four industry. months off after that. I mean, that that's more regular work than you get in my line of work or indeed yours. <laughs> or in mine. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> if you're looking for a guardian slash escort for four months. <laughs> guardian <laughs> slash time. smash piece. Come on. <laughs> get it right. <laughs> I really want to be interviewed at some point and I just to appear <laughs> underneath him. <laughs> Shall we crack on and get these cloisters underway? Let's do it. Uh, talking about funny lower thirds, one of my favourites is um, is a, I saw saw one. I think it was obviously a parody, which was um, which was uh, X X name and then he Only former child. <laughs> <laughs> former child. So good. Need to find it. There's loads of them. There's so many that are meme worthy. Well, I guess it's too late now. Also, he could easily just go and step back on the elevator, right? Or he just wait. Out. Or he could just wait there. Like he doesn't have to go in here. <laughs> Maybe but, it's one of those elevators that only goes down. Apart from when it came back up to get him. Just like Bartello. Just <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I need to remember when you're setting yourself up for a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it counts as setting up or if it's just a tennis serve, isn't it? <laughs> you're just tossing out for yourself. Just like Pub. <laughs> Just like Bob Tello. Should have been the new, uh, the new that's what she said, isn't it? <laughs> Just like Bob Tello. So I'm not going to lie, what's your, what's my strategy for these normally? It's just to get the, the spheres and just stick them anywhere. Yeah. And just, just see what yeah. happens. Exactly. Nothing but happens. Move glyph, on. Yeah, it probably goes up here, doesn't it? Let's face it. Nope. It doesn't go up there. It goes to the right. Bloody hell. Maybe it goes nowhere. Maybe it goes in the thing we've just been to. Ah, oh, Probably right goes to beginning. the thing we've just been to. Because the thing is, there's always more holes than there is mm. spheres. Always. And also, um, when doors are open, they don't close, which always confused me. I was like, well, isn't that, that doesn't make sense. You got to remember then that you can actually use the ball if it's been put in something that's now closed. Yeah. As long as it's opened once, you can keep using it. Right. So we've got that glyph appeared now, so we should be able to uh, just no, stick. Ah, no, you can use the glyph one. Yeah. Stick the sphere in there. It repels me, right? Because that's probably because I'm holding this. Go on. Fuck off. Touch it. Oh, that was easy. Oh, fire. Right, that's the cloister trial's done. <laughs> um, 
That's probably where all the fire's coming from. Just turn that off. What's with the shiny thing on the floor? Oh, if you press this, it moves one of the pedestals. Oh. So That's you basically cool. just put pedestals like there. But you can also usually, there are elements of the puzzle where it wants you to push things onto those little little blocks. Hmm. So once you know they're there, like I'm going to try and put this glyph in here. Yeah. Because I reckon that will move the entire wire. So then yep. the fire will turn off. There it goes. That was the fire off button. Yeah, we don't need that. Destruction sphere. I. Where do you reckon that goes? Back in the first room? Oh, so that can move. That's important. I think it goes... Let's look and see if there's something down here. Before we start just pressing stuff everywhere. No. You can only hold one sphere at a time. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I reckon you have to push this... Onto the, onto the door into the thing down there. Yeah. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and take this, put the destruction sphere in there, because I reckon you complete this just by sticking this flaming ball into that door, because mm -hmm. that's how we got into the cloister in the first place. Yep. There's another one there. Yep. Two flaming balls. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Great balls <laughs> of fire. <laughs> I kind of hope there was like a bard for this, but there isn't. So I would love that. Of course, I was around about the time, but I uh, I wrote my classic, Great Balls of Fire. <laughs> and then obviously when uh, when Tidus came in contact with Sin, I, I wrote Poison. <laughs> and then, then the follow-up truck, track Toxic. I think I may have fucked that. You might have fucked that. No. Oh, no, oh, no, it's fine. No. It's fine. Luckily, it's, it's, it's a PlayStation 2 game. Yeah. Right, so that, that does fit in there, but it's the wrong ball. Yeah. It's all right. We'll put the ball down there. We haven't tried to put a fireball in there, have we? Uh, we need to try and put no, a fireball in there. Let's try and put a fireball in there quick. Yep. Yeah. I, mean, I don't like wasting the... For, sorry? Yeah, we've got time. we got ages. we got ages. Yeah. Because we're currently, I think we spent about eight minutes in it. I think. Because I do pay, pay like vague attention. It's only, it's only like the most surface level of attention that I pay to this game. What's going on? Sure. Like, I mean, I, 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 would, I would be the one checking time, but there's absolutely no point because I'm not. I'm not. We haven't figured out a uh, a secret hand signal <laughs> for me to show you that that it's time to stop. <laughs> I think the secret hand handshake should, hand signal should just be. Well, no, it's the Mr. Mime, isn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> but what if we go to Zanakin and hear some bam banging music? Then you think we have to stop every five seconds. Oh, shit. <laughs> we'll never be able to stop ever again, just in case. <laughs> right, we'll pop the, pop the destruction. We'll put the, we'll put the uh, deduction sphere in there. <laughs> the description sphere. <laughs> the dedication sphere. <laughs> and then we'll go and... Um, Pop this in here. That'll probably turn that on. Hang on, look, there's a sphere down there. There is. There's more balls. Do you reckon maybe the destruction sphere goes in there? I reckon so. Well, I'm certainly going to try there. So I'll put, put the ball in there. Just to check. That works. Yeah, that looks about right, doesn't it? We'll leave that on fire for now. Yeah. Turn it off fire layer. You never know, maybe Killer Katebel's got a prepaid meter, it'll just run out. <laughs> so as you were saying, the destruction spheres are for the crescents and things like that, for the celestial weapons, is that correct? Yeah, so the decimation spheres, once you've found the right places in the temples, um, you're able to use them, blow things up, get an item, you need to get every single item if you want a secret super special Aeon at a later point. Mm. So we've got these. I'm you don't actually need Aeon to keep them. You can, you can throw them away. 
You don't have to keep them, but you do need to have successfully got them. There we go. I'm trying to remember what, what, what Aeon that is. Which one? The Super Special Aeon. Um, it's Anima. Oh, I was going to say Anima. Yeah. Right, so we've completed this, so we'll just pop up here and we'll probably get yelled at. What I love is, is uh, you, you took the sphere with you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. But, uh, but, but when this. you got there, Tina just Donna went, oh, I'm just going to put that down. <laughs> I'm in enough trouble. I want to suffer the consequences. Uh, what consequences? She could be excommunicated. We've met, so at this point in the game, we've met one other summoner. And because she obviously went and had to do his arduous trial. Mm-hmm. I don't think they got enough summoners. Oh, well, shit. Isn't it hard to be a summoner? Because it's kind of like you have to go, you have to travel the world, you have to go and get all the various the Aeons, and you have to finally get the final place. Aeon. Only which is yeah, it's really difficult. And I think that I suspect only certain people have the gift. Otherwise, everybody would give it a go. Mm. Just... So what's it's like there, I'm pretty eh? sure that if everybody could just do this really like a really highly paid job oh, like yeah. be like a neurosurgeon right. I reckon most uh, be, well not most people be neurosurgeons because there'll always be someone that wants to open like a like a spa or something instead but um there'd be a lot more neurosurgeons if just everybody could do it huh now they live forever trapped in statues my oh, god but when a summoner beckons the souls of the faith emerge once again. Is this the horrifying That's truth of the we faith that we've been yeah. talking about? Aeon. All that in this room? So, so, what's Yuna doing in there? She prays with all her heart for a way to defeat mm. sin. So, fill us in, Dan, just like Bartello. What so, was yeah. said? So it was uh, what was said was uh, that uh, Lulu sort of um, told us that you Yevon. Uh, so the faith, the faith are souls um, willingly given to you Yevon for people to fight sin, and um, you Yevon literally took their took their souls from their still living bodies, which to me is horrifying. Um, and because of that, they're now trapped in statues. The souls are trapped in statues, and then essentially, when a summoner comes and calls upon them, they become aeons, or they give their power to become aeons. So, to they basically give themselves to the, to the um, summoner to fight sin once again. Sinister, Which, isn't it? Yeah. Sounds interesting know. to me that like all the most powerful people would just give away their ability to do things themselves in favour of letting someone else maybe call them forth. Yeah, it's mad, isn't it? Like, imagine, yeah. imagine just straight up having your soul taken from your body completely, and then trapped forever until someone else calls upon you. Something I didn't tell anyone else. Yeah, I mean, imagine it's much. Well, what's that, Matt? It's much, much easier if you have it if you simply willingly put it into a receptacle. Mm. It was proof that <laughs> like a phylactery or a Horcrux or something. That's probably Somehow. much feels more comfortable than having it was. physically yanked. As you worked towards it. Suddenly, yeah. I felt like I just wanted to go home. I tried to say something to tell them, but the words wouldn't come. But Final Fantasy games are always very tasteful in that regard. They don't actually show people, like nowadays, yeah. in like, the world of things like Resident Evil Village and what, you'd have people going through like horrendous, horrendous um, like scenes where they go through like bodily transformation. We don't have that. No. They could have done that for this, and they didn't, because it's a mixed, I think, a product of the time, and also just the fact that these games are just much more artistic than a lot of what's come after it. Well... Oh, he's got a VHS memory again. Yes. I thought I had put my feelings for Xanarkin behind me. Who's this guy? Bottom right. He is not interested, no. is he? Well, the, the the two guards. So there's one. That's, oh, they're guards. Another, yeah, I they're thought they were guards. cyclists. <laughs> but they were there, yeah. and they grew inside me bigger and bigger, till I was just about ready to burst. Problem is, once we now we've made a Bartolo joke. 
People keep saying things that warrant Bartello jokes, don't they? Yep. I don't know. What do you want to do? To scream real loud? <laughs> ah! Ah. This is a funeral. <laughs> Please. <laughs> People died yesterday. Right, so... um. I think we'll probably end that there as we wander back to Kilika Sounds good village to me. and then off on to Luca. So, yeah, for some Blitzball. Blitzball! Blitzball! Let's, let's, let's. More, more we explain next time. Hi. He'll tire himself out. If you enjoyed yourself, uh, why not uh, like and subscribe? Perhaps leave a comment. Dan, do you want to add anything? Bye. On your way. Thank <laughs> you.